Call it home, call it heaven, rain begins to fall. I look out on the ocean, I can hear the seagull call. Sound takes my mind to the years that have gone by. Songs fill my heart with a warmth inside. Call it home, call it heaven, all the memories let me fly. Through the summer afternoons on the country roads I'd ride. When the evening came, I'd be feeling right as rain, not knowing that these days would never come again. Call it home, call it heaven, this feeling leads me there. Rain on the window tells me how much I care. Soon I'll be home where once again I'll live. It's my heaven on earth and the memories are a gift. This song, Call It Home, is about my childhood summers that I spent on Hornby Island. I wrote it when I was 19. Now, many years have gone by since then, and it actually has more meaning to me now than it did when I wrote it. My family first came to Hornby in 1962. I had a brochure from a friend of my dad's who advertised cabins on the shingle spit. So we got in our car, a 1954 Pontiac Chieftain, went down to the CPR station and got on the CPR boat over to Nanaimo, then up to Buckley Bay, over to Denman, and then another ferry over to Hornby. And we spent the first number of summers for a couple of weeks each year on shingle spit. Eventually, though, my parents bought a piece of property and we built a cabin. And that's where we'd spend two months every year. And it was incredible freedom to be a kid back then. You could go anywhere you wanted. We rode our bikes, had a great time. And uh, it's something that I'll never forget. And I'm really glad that it's part of my life now that I've actually moved back here. So here I sit all alone, music gently plays. A familiar voice takes me back to my younger days. Sometimes I sense a feeling of despair Knowing that the years have all disappeared Call it home, call it heaven This feeling leads me there Rain on the window tells me how much I care Soon I'll be home where once again I'll live it's my heaven on earth and the memories are a gift It's my heaven on earth and the memories are a gift Being a kid here in the 1960s staying in the cabins at Shingle Spit, we could watch out at the ferry going back and forth. And the ferry was run by a guy named Albert Savoy. And I always thought what a cool job it would be to run a ferry, but of course it was really a lot of hard work. And, and the history of getting to actually having ferries in the first place on Hornby was quite a little bit of a story. So in 1992, I called up Albert. He was long since retired at that point, but I, I went up to his house at Phipps Point on Hornby Island and his wife Margaret made us tea and cookies and I sat in his living room and he got out old photographs and told me what it was like to bring car ferry service to Hornby. I am Albert J. Savoy when I was 23. I never thought I'd have a ship named after me. Hornby back in 29 sure was different then. Sit down in this parlor now as I would please me well if you had an ear to lend Look upon these photographs all weathered black and white To me they're living color, to me they are my life For though I am an old man now and it's all just history I pray my spirit lives on and you'll remember me I am Albert J. Savoy, hope you remember 
day. She was named the Water Lily, first boat I ever made. I'd ferry people and produce, I'd pick up sacks of feed. This kept up through the 30s, it held on through the war. Then the call came for a ferry boat so cars could come ashore. Things changed forevermore. I took a gamble, the biggest I'd ever known. I mortgaged everything I had and I built one on my own. With the hope that the government would give a subsidy. Well, there I am upon the bridge of my new two-car ferry. December 1953 Oh, look upon these photographs All weathered black and white To me they live in color To me they are my life For though I am an old man now And it's all just history I pray my spirit lives on You'll remember me I am Ember J. Savoy, hope you remember me. The sixties brought more changes with tourists from afar. So I built the Lorraine S. She held six cars. Demand kept on growing by 1971. Well, I had to give my notice that I'd no longer run my ferry boat day we're done. So what makes a man work his fingers to the bone and get so little recompense each day when he goes home? I'll tell you what it is. It's pride in what you do and it's knowing that you've done your best when your life is through. To your own self you've been true. Oh, look upon these photographs, all weathered black and white. To me, they live in color, to me, they are my life. For though I am an old man now, and it's all just history. I am Albert J. Savoy, hope you remember me. For little, it's what I do. Boats a double ender, sleek and slender. A split sail moves her across the blue. It's the early morning dawn, I row out in the calm to the place where I think all those fish might be. Call home, backs on herring they feed. It's my couch and spinner, I hope they see. I am a hand troller, my life's very simple. Living five months in a shack by the sea Sharing with others my food and provisions You never know when you'll be in need It's rowing all day from the 15th of May One line over in all kinds of seas A hard life of hard work and for what kind of fame Two cents a pound from the canner October, I curse the bad weather, but in fair or better, there's no life like a hand troller. These images were taken by my dad in 1965. He'd rode over to Flora Island, just off of Hornby Island, with his friend Richard Wyndham. They had a look around and were amazed at how many of these were still standing from the 1930s. Now the hand trollers built these out of anything they could find. Beech wood, lumber, they often had a little gas stove. It was a rough way to make a living, but it was their own little house during the summer.
I am a hand troller in the best of conditions. I might make 300 when the season is through. Hardly enough, though, to last me the winter, for the times are tough and the jobs so few. But I've got dignity, I've got pride. Bad times will end and the prices will rise. Buy me a gas boat and add a few lines. Things are gonna turn out just fine. I am a hand troller, work hard for my dollar. I don't get much sleep. From May to October, I curse the bad weather, but in fair or better, there's no life like a hand troller. I am a hand troller, work hard for my dollar, I don't get much sleep. From May to October, I curse the bad weather, but in fair or better, there's no life like a hand troller. No life quite like a hand troller. calling me back. The Heath Kit radio out on the porch, pulling in signals bounce from the clear night air that come all the way from Fresno, California to Hornby Island. Crackling static, voices modulating in the dark, talking about things we knew nothing about. But we were glad to be like points on a giant wheel, listening for the spark, spinning under the sky and playing our part. From the open window, the sound of our parents' voices in conversations of their youth, and the scent of nabob coffee percolating, the sound of spoons clinking in petalware cups. Meeting by chance when we were eight at the beach on a hot August evening, and me getting up the nerve to ask you out to play, and then suddenly, like tuning in the right frequency, we were friends. The world we walked in was infinite, charged with mystery and wonder in the footsteps of those now lost to time. But we didn't know as we crunched the crisp fallen arbutus leaves or wandered on the rich black earth filled with broken shells that we were not the first to marvel and wonder at this beauty. We were not the first. And then we'd go our separate ways and a year would flow, bringing us back together each summer where we'd reignite the curiosity of our existence for two weeks. Hours spent in lofty conversations while the campfire glowed, lighting our faces full of ease. And voices dropping and topics shifting from toy boats to cars and girls. I went along for the ride. Drawing and pulling and attracting and yearning. We were bursting with yearning for everything. Life was infinite. Life was charged. Life was wonder. Life was ours. Midnight, walking under showers of stars. Then the only lights were those ethereal specks. Unless we took our shoes off and ran our feet through the phosphorescent water, lighting it up like fireflies between our toes. The breeze rolling down off Mount Jeffrey would be warm and then cool and warm, pockets of ambrosial delight. Sand drying on our feet as we sat on a log and pondered into the night, looking at moonlit Lambert Channel, unaware of a channel called Time come between us.
the cricket still sound when we went our way? I doubt for long when the dark months came to stay. Chris, I don't know where you are or where you've gone, but I still feel a signal, though it's not very strong. We were like points on a giant wheel. We were the spark, crackling static, voices modulating in the dark. Saturday clothes, summertime dreams are mine The list of what lies ahead is for some other time Take off in the morning light, a minstrel of the dawn Back in my bed at night, dreaming of highway songs Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow It's the glow of summer, the glow of feeling, the glow of my young heart the glow of wonder, the glow of believing, the glow of life at its start. High and dry, go my way, it's worth believing me. But down by the bend in the water is as fine as fine can be. And if there's a reason, a chance to stay in this dreamland, the answer is never too close, it's a tree too weak to stand. Tomorrow and tomorrow, and tomorrow It's the glow of summer, the glow of feeling, the glow of my teenage heart The glow of wonder, the glow of believing, the glow of life at its start I don't mind that sundown comes so soon The watchman's gone, but it'll be along When this carefree highway's through Protocol with rules and all will slide on over me And now and then will I think back when I was only 17 Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow it's the glow of summer, the glow of feeling, the glow of my young heart. The glow of wonder, the glow of believing, the glow of life at its start. The glow of summer, the glow of feeling, the glow of my teenage heart. The glow of wonder, the glow of believing, the glow of life at its start. Thank you for listening. I'm going to finish off now with a song that I wrote called Standard 8. It's from the point of view of my, my father, who uh, shot all the home movies and images that uh, I use throughout the show, Call It Home. Um, he shot them on an 8mm Bolex camera. And uh, so this song is a little bit from his point of view. Some of the scenes that I mention in the song are actual, fr actually from the, the film footage that he shot back in the 60s and 70s. It's called Standard 8. Snap the shutter, wind and roll Capture light through a tiny hole Lay down action in your view Catch your life passing through Well there goes Rob and there goes John Hat flies in the wind and it's gone Look at Nancy standing there Waving the wind back from her hair Yesterday is gone Yesterday took flight Sprocket spinning film Captures the light Taking it all in Before it's too late 
saving time in standard eight. Flip the film in the shadow. 25 feet, two minutes to go. Frame your shots so carefully. They'll become your memory. Fairy pulls out of the bay. Pop stands on deck, he gives away. A vision caught made to last. For the day when he has passed Yesterday is gone Yesterday took flight Sprocket spinning film Captures the light Taking it all in Before it's too late Saving time in standard age Capture time is a foolish game It makes you think life stays the same But days grow old that once were new Film runs out like I will too But in the meantime here I stand With this Bolex in my hand it is a witness to my life My two sons and my dear wife Yesterday is gone Yesterday took flight Sprocket spinning film Captures the light Taking it all in Before it's too late Saving time in standard A. Saving time in standard A. Saving time in standard.